Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Craving Shaving. It's been a while. Um, I've been taking a bit of a break. Um, if you watched my last video, I, I said that was going to happen. Just a lot of stuff going on. Um, having four kids, it's it's different than having three kids, I'll say that much. Um, but I am glad to be back making a video again. Um, I've got some new stuff to uh, talk about. Um, yeah, so let's let's just go ahead and dive into it. So it is December. I don't know exactly when this video is going to come out. I'm shooting it tonight. I don't know if I'll get around to uploading it and editing it and stuff tonight. Um, but it is December, and I'm feeling the Christmassy kind of vibe, um, like most of us are around now. And this is the soap that I'm going for, um, Zingari Man the Prophet. Uh, which is just absolutely uh, just awesome. It's orange, myrrh, and vanilla. Anything with orange and vanilla is going to get my vote. It smells like Christmas orangey, spicy awesomeness. So we're definitely going with that. Um, we'll lather that up in the, uh, in the old shave bowl. Um, the razor that I'm going to be using is the fantastic... Rockwell 6C. This is the gunmetal variety, and I've got that on. Let's see if that will show up there. It's a uh, plate three. I can't tell if that's showing up or not, but it is plate three that I'll be using, which is my go-to with with that uh, with this particular razor. I just saw that they have the 6S in black, which I didn't know they had. So I don't, I've I've been out of the loop, I guess. Um, which is tempting. I probably won't because I have plenty of razors, but uh, there comes a point where I just think I just need to stop. But <laughs> we'll see if I'm there yet. I'll probably acquire a few more. And actually, I'm trying to get rid of some. Um, where do you guys, when you sell stuff, what do you usually sell stuff on? eBay? Is eBay good? There's a couple of razors that I just, uh, they're okay, but I just, they're not as good as other ones that I have, so I'm gonna clear out the den, make room for some new stuff, I guess. Um, okay, so I've got that loaded up. Oh, guys, this smells so good. I have a friend who was saying that Zingari, uh, Zingari Man stuff just doesn't have a very strong scent, and that just may, must be the other scents, because this one has a really strong scent. I love it. Um, okay, the, now, now really the star of the show today, or at least it's the new uh, item that we'll be going over is this brush right here. This is a handle that my daughter helped me make um, and I was gonna sell them but I made a deal with them that they could each make a, a brush and if it sold then they would get half the money. Um, and uh, my daughter that helped me make this one uh, refused to let me sell it so it's now a tester brush for this knot. Now this knot, let me see if I can get a good now, it, it's not one that I've seen before. I saw it uh, um, from my, or from a brush manufacturer out of China, and I got one, I bought, I bought a sample, and it's pretty amazing. I, I really do like it. I got two samples um, from them. The other one is this tuxedo knot right here, and it's good, but that's for another video. We're gonna focus on this one today. Very, very, very soft uh, tips on this. Quite a lot of backbone uh, compared to what I was expecting. So we'll we'll dig into it and we'll talk about what I think. I've used it a few times. Both of these I've used uh, a few times, but um, I am looking for a name for. It. I haven't seen these knots around, so I can't just say, "Oh, it's a such and such knot." I don't think I've really seen. If you've seen one before and you know what it's called, let me know. That would save me the hassle of trying to think of a name for it. I mean, really soft tips. Really, really soft tips. It's quite densely packed as well, which leads to more backbone, which is exactly what I'm looking for. I, I carry a knot with tons of backbone for a synthetic. But it's not as soft as I like. Some people love it. They swear by it. They think it's great. Um, I I like my knots 
a little softer. So I think I got way too much soap. So we're going to add just a ton of water. I went way overboard on the soap, but I do have quite a lot of facial hair to get through. So excited about the holidays. Hope you guys have great plans for the holidays. You can see some family or whatever you guys are planning on doing. I hope it goes well for you. Um, I'm a teacher by trade, so I'm looking forward to a winter vacation in a couple weeks. So after, I think, yeah, after next week, I'm off till the new year. So that's fun. Um, we'll be going to visit family elsewhere in Utah. Um, so looking forward to that. Get in the way a little bit. This is still a bit dry, but this knot feels awesome. Now, I've been burned by knots before. I've ordered some that I've been hopeful about, and they just haven't panned out. Um, but this isn't one of those that left me wanting more. This is a fantastic knot. Now, I don't carry these in my shop yet. Um, I've been taking a bit of a break for making brushes as well, but I have... I've been making brushes like crazy the last week, so this Saturday, if you're watching this when I'm releasing it, this Saturday I'm doing quite a large brush drop. There will probably be between 7 and 10 brushes in that drop. This knot's lovely. So, story behind me looking for this brush knot. As many of you that um, have been following me know, there's even a video about it. I loved the Duro Knot by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Loved it. My favorite knot. Still probably my favorite knot. But, there's one problem with that. And that's that they stopped carrying them. Um, and since I was buying them by the dozen, they didn't last very long once they weren't once they weren't able to get them. Supplies ran out pretty quick. So that knot went off the uh, off, off the market. And so I was looking for a new knot. Ordered a bunch of samples from the place I was currently getting my knots. Didn't really um, like anything there, and I uh, switched to a new supplier. They're on out of China mostly, at least the ones that have affordable options, and I try to keep things affordable for everybody. Um, and, uh, alright, here we go. What an amazing razor. Guys, if you don't have a Rockwell razor, oh man, whether it's the 2, 2C or the 6C or the 6S. Oh man, it's awesome. Smooth as can be. Anyway, some were good, some were okay, some were bad. This one that's in this brush is amazing. I love it. So, they will be appearing in my shop. I just gotta get I haven't been making brushes as much lately, so I gotta, I gotta sell some brushes and then I'll buy some of those knots. <laughs> there may be those of you out there that think that us brush, us brush makers are just making so much money on these brushes. That's really not the case. <laughs> I guess there might be some that sell theirs for quite expensive that are doing pretty well for themselves. And of course the, uh, the really big name brush makers are probably doing pretty well for themselves, the ones that are doing it full time. But uh, us little guys, it all goes back into the business. <laughs> so I don't see a problem with that because it's a hobby really is what it is for me. Can't speak for other 
brush makers. But I really want to keep it affordable, and I do that as much as I can. But I do need to make something off of them, right? Oh, guys, this razor and this soap are so fantastic. Oh. Now, unfortunately, I think I've heard that this isn't in production anymore, and hopefully they just changed the name of it or something. Those of you who are big into Zingari, maybe you know, but uh, I hope that either they bring it back or something, but, uh, oh man, I love it. So, that's a wet face. This is just a soft knot, but it's got good face feel. That's what a lot of the other ones were missing, is either they're really soft, or they have a, a lot of backbone or something, but they, they didn't have the whole thing. This one, I feel like, it's got it. It's really soft. It's not scritchy or scratchy at all. I wouldn't say it has a lot of scrub either, but it's just got a good face feel. It's not like a, it's not completely like a cloud on your face, you know, like, well, when you're painting, maybe, when you're splaying it out. It's just really nice. At the time of filming this, voting's going on for the Old Cahaba Brush Off 2019. Which is a brush making competition for those of you not aware of what that is. And uh, I entered that competition again this year. This is my second year being a part of that. And uh, I don't know. I'm not happy with how I'm doing in it. So far, the polls show me not in a very good position. So it's just kind of a fun competition. Um, nothing really rides on it, but at the end we do a brush swap. And how it works is you get to choose your brush based on what place you get. Um, So the better you do, the better the, uh, the better the brush you get um, in return. Um, and last year when I did it, I got I think 16th place. And I was quite happy with that because. It was my first year making brushes. There are a lot of much better brushes than mine. And, uh, 16, I was, you know, just happy to be in it and part of it. Um, this year, I'm still happy to be part of it, but, um, I was hoping to do a little better in it. <laughs> I'm currently, I think, in 17th place, which is one worse than I did last year. I feel like my here. I've got it here. Here's my brush for the uh, the old Kabaha brush off. So it's clear on the outside with a kind of a core in the middle. It's got a fan fiction knot in it, which is a hybrid, two band finest and synthetic. I think it's pretty good, but uh, not doing so hot in the competition. Which is, I mean, there are a lot of really good brushes in this, in the in the competition this year. So I mean. It is what it is, but still, you enter something with something that you feel is really good and it doesn't do so well. It's... I wish it would have done better, I guess is what I'm saying. It's 
It's not like it cost me anything to enter it or anything. It's always next year. There are some amazing brushes in that competition, though. Really awesome. This razor is fantastic, guys. For fifty bucks, at least they were fifty bucks last I knew. Rockwell 6C, you get six different plates, and it's just phenomenal. I really like this three plate. I've used a couple, my last couple shaves, which haven't been very frequently, to be fair. But, uh, man is it a smooth razor. And efficient, especially on the higher plates. If you like a really aggressive razor, on the higher plates it gets pretty aggressive. Of course, you can go all the way down to, you know, like a one plate and Very, very mild too. Probably too mild on a one, but uh, if you're into this hobby, sorry, I keep on pausing while I'm talking. If you're into this hobby and you want a really good razor, it's not like a really cheap one. It's not really expensive. And is adjustable so you can tune it to what you need. You're not sure. Or if you're not sure what a. If you like aggressive or mild or what you need. This is this is definitely my recommendation, and probably a lot of people's recommendation. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video, clean up a bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So, um, I just realized this whole video, the white noise machine's been on for our baby. Um, so I apologize about that. Um, I didn't even notice that. We're gonna finish off with some star jelly. This is Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Um, that sells this, and this is the Space Nog, which is another festive holiday theme. I, I use it year-round, just because it's a scent I really like. It's, you know, a warm, spicy bay rum, vanilla bay rum kind of thing going on. So I quite like that. Oh, that's nice. Really good menthol in there. Great stuff. Well, um, it's good to be back on uh, the channel. Great aftershave. Great soap. Seriously, if this is still available, you should pick some up. If it's not, man, that's too bad. You should ask uh, Heather at Zingari to start making it again. And uh, the Razor, the Rockwell 6C. This is the gunmetal chrome one on plate three. Awesome. Oh, and in there is a uh, Gillette Super Sharp, or Sharp Edge. Yeah, in the yellow. It's the yellow one. The yellow Gillette 7 o'clock. And then the uh, prototype, whatever we're going to call this. I was thinking like sticking with the brand theme, you know, and going like the Crave Knot. I don't know. What do you think of that? You hate it? I don't have to call it that. Let me know what you think. Um, it should be called. I'll take your input, please. <laughs> um, and we'll uh, we'll get some of those in the shop as soon as I'm able to. So hopefully that's sooner rather than later. Anyway, hope you have a great holiday season. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Craving Shaving. Got a big drop of brushes coming on Saturday. In fact, let me uh, let me go grab those, and uh, we can take a look at those in a second. Okay. So I've got a bunch, so let me, so I've got seven done so far for the drop, and uh, 
very different. Let me, I don't know if these are going to show up super well. We've got this one, it's kind of purple on the top, red on the bottom. There's, it's kind of swirled together. That one's nice. This one's one of my favorites. It's red with black and gold swirled through. A really kind of nice fiery looking effect. We've got this one that's kind of another reddish goldish look. Another reddish, so this one's red, yellow, and uh, orange with black. Now we move to the bluer kind of ones. This one's they've got fuzz on them. This one's red and blue swirled together. Kind of nice effect there. It's not it's not really purple. It doesn't really get purple anywhere. Um, then we got this one. It's kind of a blue fiery looking brush and. The last one in that drop is this guy right here. It's kind of a ribbon brush, blue and gray with white going through it. So there's that, those, and here's another ribbon one that's, this one's currently available on my website. It's a black and red with a white ribbon going through it. Pretty cool. Those ones are hard to make. They're kind of a pain in the butt, so, uh, but they, they look cool, I think. So, if uh, you're one of the people who I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some more of this aftershave on because I really like it. Um, if you're one of those people who enjoy brushes, um, then you probably stick stuck around. You're still around here. If not, you probably left already, which is it's fine. You can do that. All right. Oh, what a great! I, I needed that. It's been too long since I've I've done one of these, and. Uh, I missed it so thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by and watching uh, if you haven't already go down and subscribe for more content later on down the road I don't know uh, when the next time I'll be making a video is it might be uh, before Christmas uh, break when I had a time it might be while I'm down there I don't know um, we'll see might do some lives live shaves and some Facebook groups um, or something but uh, it's good to be back so Thanks again and hope you have a wonderful day.